Bigger event in 25 laps. The Young Drivers Canadian Vintage Modifieds. Here's how they're going to line up. Starting on the pole at Niagara Falls in the WOW One Day Painting KW. Sherwin-Williams paint number 43 machine. It's Jay Pepin. Starting second at a Kitchener in the Oakfield Trailers Racing Stuff. Number eight machine. It's Ricky Williger. Starting third out of Arthur in the Cambridge Car Star. Custom Sign and Graphics. Number 14 machine. It's Scott Tonelli. Starting fourth out of Burlington in the Grindsdale Racing Products. Burlington Mazda, number five machine, it's Mike Pod. Starting fifth out of Brantford in the Swears Custom Painting. Riverside Heating, number 15 car, it's TJ Marshall. Starting in sixth out of Oakville in the Oakville Trailers Racing Stuff, number 84, it's Jeremy Barton. Starting seventh out of Quinty in the B&B Stickers and Scuff, number two machine, it's Jessica James. To the outside, the 42 car out of Cambridge in the Young Drivers of Canada, number 42, it's Steve Murdoch. Rounding out the field at a rocked in London Brothers Top Soils Inc. Rob Wells Trucking, number 57 car, it's Joey Wolseley. We're, We're ready to go. go. Young We're drivers can even make these modifies. Off a turn four. Green flag is in the air. We are underway. Big wiggle for the 43 of Jay Pepin as he put the hammer down coming off a of turn four. That's going to give the race lead to the eight car of Ricky Williger. Now a little bit of a bottleneck for that third, fourth spot. Jay Peppin slides in in third after starting on the front row. One lap into this 25-lap feature event for the Young Drivers Game Vintage Modifieds. Tonight's feature event is sponsored by Inside Track Magazine and Motorsports News. Eight car of Ricky Williger stretches his lead up to about a half straightaway lead over the 14 of Scott Tonelli. Then the five of Mike Pond and side by side for fourth and fifth. DJ Marshall and Jay Peppin go toe to toe. Down back into turn number one here on lap three. Ricky Williger continuing to extend his lead now over the five of Mike Pod as the 14 of Scott Tonelli gets shuffled out of the deck. He's going to lose second and third spot now. He's going to slide in in fourth. DJ Marshall now takes that third spot. We're five laps into this one here tonight on Memorial Night here at Flamborough Speedway. This is the second last race here for the Young Drivers Canadian Vintage Modified, so it's coming down to the wire. Ricky Williger continues to lead in second, the five of Mike Pond, third, the 15 of TJ Marshall, fourth with the 14 of Scott Tonelli, fifth will be the 43 of Jay Pepin, sixth, the 84 of Jeremy Barton, seventh, 42 of Steve Murdoch, in eighth, the two of Jessica James, and in ninth, the 57 of Joey Wolseley. Battle for second is going to start to heat up soon here as Mike Pott in the five car, TJ Marshall. They got about a car length between the two of them. TJ Marshall underneath the five of Mike Pott. Pott with a bit of a wiggle off of turn two. That's going to let the 15 of TJ Marshall snatch that second spot away from the five of Mike Pott. Now we'll see if TJ Marshall in that 15 car can close down the eight of Ricky Williger. He's got nine laps in the book, so he's got about 15 laps to see if he can get the job done. The eight car of Ricky Williger works around the slower 57 of Joey Wolseley on the bottom side. 10 laps into this one. for that race lead is starting to dwindle just a little bit. Ricky Williger just over a second and a tenth between him and the 15 of TJ Marshall. Battle for third and fourth, excuse me, fourth and fifth as well. 43 of Jay Peppin and the 14 of Scott Tonelli are going toe to toe for that fourth and fifth spot. Is this time the leaders will see halfway to go. So halfway home here in this one. 
on Memorial Night here at Flamborough Speedway presented by Micro Pro Sienna for the Young Drivers Canadian Vintage Modifieds. Young Drivers Canadian Vintage Modifieds also have some associate sponsors, Sherwin Williams, Kingsbury Packaging, Touchwood Cabinets, Riverside Heating and Air, Severus Professional Services, Rysdale Racing Products, Inside Track, Oakville Trailers, Klotz Auto Repair, Donkers Feed and Grain, Epic Racewear, all being part of the Young Drivers Canadian Vintage Modifieds 2023 season here at Flamborough Speedway. Battle for that race lead is really heating up. Ricky Milliger's car is starting to slow off here just a little bit. TJ Marshall has closed that gap that was about three, four car lengths all the way to about a half car length now. So Ricky Williger's got his work cut out here for him on lap number 16. Now 17 goes up on the board. TJ Marshall is all over the back bumper of that eight car down the back straightaway. Marshall just showing the nose to the inside on the eight car. Ricky Williger, Williger handling seems to be going away just a little bit. But he's got the 15 of TJ Marshall and the five of Mike Pod right behind him. Here's the work lap number 18 of this 25 lap feature event. Look, we're gonna have some lap traffic coming up in front of them. The next car will be the two of Jessica James. We'll see all that works itself out here as TJ Marshall is all over the back of that eight car. Leaders are gonna try to work their way around these lap machines here gingerly. It's gonna be almost three wide. The two of Jessica James goes to the bottom with the 57 of Joey Wolseley where was there as well. Lap number 20 goes up on the board. TJ Marshall and Ricky Milliger get around the lap traffic. Now Mike Pod will as well. Four laps to go in this one. TJ Marshall is all over the back bumper of that eight car of Ricky Williger. Now they're gonna work around the 42 of Steve Murdoch who's down to the inside. Marshall now gonna take a peek to the inside, getting into turns number one and two. Williger holding that top spot with some momentum on the top side. This time into turns three and four. They're gonna see the two to go sign in the air. Two more laps for the eight car of Ricky Williger. TJ Marshall, two more trips around to see if he can make a pass to the top spot. Mike Pod in third, waiting to see what's gonna happen with the two drivers in front of him. Down into three and four for the penultimate time. White flag in the air one more time around for the eight car of Ricky Williger. Marshall looking to the inside. Williger gonna shut the door down in turns one and two. Down the back straightaway. Marshall with a big wiggle off of turn two. One more time into three and four. No dice. Checkered flag flies. Feature win goes to the eight of Ricky Williger. Second, the 15 of TJ Marshall. Third, the five of Mike Pond. Fourth will be the 14 of Scott Tonelli. And then fifth, the 43 of Jay Pippen. We'll make our way down to Quick Wick Victory Lane and grab a word with our feature winner, the eight of Ricky Williger. Down here in Quick Quick Victory Lane. He's going to climb from the car. Fans, put your hands together for your feature winner, the eight of Ricky Williger. We'll slide in here and grab word here with Ricky. Ricky, at the start of the race, it looked like you were going to kind of drive away towards the end he got a little close tj marshall that 15 car was right on that back bumper how were you able to get the job done here tonight uh the car was amazing it's a little slick out there and tj with his experience he's an amazing driver so i wouldn't expect anything less from him but yeah i can't complain with the first place i know you guys got a lot of stickers and sponsors on this car that help get the job done here who do you want to give a shout out to to get you guys the victory lane here tonight big shout out to inside track news for sponsoring the night uh big shout out to ron easton uh my dad uh, my whole crew Oakville Trailers, uh, Racing Stuff, Jomo Media. And thanks to the fans for coming out. Couldn't do this without you guys. There you go, fans. How about a round of applause for your Young Drivers Canadian Vintage Modified feature winner, the eight of Ricky Williger.